Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is May and on here we talk a little bit of luxury, fashion and a little bit of lifestyle every now and then. So if you like that type of content, I would love for you to consider joining the family. Today I have a review video on the infamous Louis Vuitton toiletry pouches. Now I was very fortunate enough to add all three of them into my collection. So we do have the toiletry 15, we have the toiletry 19 here and we also have the 26. Now if you are joining me today in this video is because you are pretty well aware of the rave from these pieces. I think that once you get one, you're kind of hooked into adding all the other ones into your collection. So I basically wanted to do a little bit of a wear and tear and also show you guys how I use them as toiletries. There are a ton of different ways that you can use them now by adding chains and kind of converting them into little handbags. But I wanted to show you what I actually put inside of them when I use them either on my day to day or how I pack them when I take them for travel, which is primarily the reason why I added them to my collection. So just a little bit of information about the pouches. Like I mentioned, there are three sizes and these in particular are done in the monogram canvas. As you can see, it is a complete Complete one piece of canvas because you will be able to tell that the LV inverts on the other side. It also offers this little vachetta tab over here which is where it says where it was made. All three of my pieces were made in Spain. I've talked about this before, that's not something that bothers me at all. I won't turn away a piece because it's made somewhere other than France. And since they are toiletries, the inside is made of a very nice wipeable lining. I haven't had anything spill inside, but every time I do use them and bring them back from any of my travels, what I do is I take a quick wipey and just kind of wipe around the inside just to make sure that it picks up any little dust or any dirt that it might have accumulated through Throughout the travels. Now they do get their names based on the size of each piece so the 15 measures 15 centimeters in length, the 19 obviously 19 centimeters and then the largest one is the 26 which measures 26 centimeters in length. I have to say that I personally love that I got them in the canvas simply because they are very lightweight pieces so once you start adding items inside it can totally get a little bit heavy especially the 26. It's the largest one out of the bunch and I tend to stuff her to the brim. Now as per wear and tear for these pieces, I gotta say I absolutely have none. I haven't had them for a very long time. As you know, I got the 26 and the 15 for my birthday which was about two months ago and then I've had the 19 for about nine months. I gotta say I've used the 19 probably the most out of all of them. I do feel like for an everyday use, the 19 is perfect. It is such a great size. It really fits in almost all of my handbags and it does carry a lot. I feel like you can put in here anything from makeup to office supplies to even baby things that you have to take around. So I really, really do like the 19 out of the three the most. So overall, I do feel like these pieces are so, so good for any of us that enjoy having some sort of organization while they pack or inside of their handbags as well. I know people that carry all three inside of their bags and I think that it really just makes it a lot easier once you're going into each. You know what they each carry. So it makes it a lot more comfortable for you to be able to access the things that you need. Now I wanted to show you what fits inside each of them and like I said you can obviously play around with these and fit the things that you use the most. So I will show you a little bit of what I tend to pack in each of them depending on the situation. Some of the size, especially the 15, can totally be deceiving. I thought it was going to be such a small little piece and I wouldn't be able to fit a lot but I'm pleasantly surprised at how much I can actually fit in here. So I wanted to speed this up a little bit, but it's just putting inside what I normally carry in the toiletry 15. You know, I have some Alka-Seltzer, a small pen, my headphones, some scrunchies, a hand sanitizer, and it closes perfectly fine. And then I removed the hand sanitizer, which takes up some space and added some other essentials. I put in a pill box, some more scrunchies, and then also a lip balm. You could see that it strains the zipper a little bit, but not too much to make it such a big deal. 
And here we move on to the toiletry 19. I usually use this one to carry my skincare routine and then the minimal makeup that I do carry whenever I go on a trip. I mentioned these are just my basic necessities and as you can see it all fits very very nicely inside. I've also used it as a small clutch since I'm already taking the toiletry 19 to pack some of the things that I'm using on the trip. I also use it as a clutch whenever we go out at nights. And if I'm not using it for travel, this is usually the toiletry I'm using on my day to day. So here I'm just putting some of my essentials and a bit more as you can see and they all fit so so well inside. And now that we're done with the 19, let's move on to the big boy. The toiletry 26 will obviously fit all of the small items, so I basically wanted to put in some larger items for you guys to see. I have wipes, face wipes, glasses, a portable charger, a cream. So as you can tell, it fits a ton of things. The zipper does get a little bit deformed, but in my opinion, it's not a big deal. I don't think that it will cause any damage to the item long term. So here I went ahead and put in all of my skincare again, just to show you that it'll fit in there very, very nicely, along with my makeup essentials. So that little pot thought it wasn't going to make it inside. As you guys can see, everything in here fit perfectly and there's even more room to spare. Alright guys, so there you have it. I just basically wanted to do a little review and then also show you all the different things that you can fit in here. There's so, so many ways that you can use these and that's one of the reasons why I love them so much. They're really just so versatile. Now, let me know down below which of the three is your favorite size or if you love all three. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up down below and to subscribe. I really appreciate you guys taking some time to watch this video today and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye everyone.